How's it going guys? It's Trackman Luigi and welcome back to more Let's Play Super Mario 3D Land. Last time we completed World 1 and now we're going to be going on to World 2. Let's do this. Um, I just want to clarify, um, I was actually contemplating on just doing the special worlds even if people weren't gonna want it because, um, you can actually play as Luigi once you complete Special World 1. But, as much as I love Luigi to death, I just don't want to, I do not want to, um, do the special worlds. Because I, I just prefer having this and Mario Kart 7 be, um, equal lengths when it comes to these projects. You know, I kind of want Mario Kart 7 to be my main project. Because Mario Kart 7, I got the layout going, and the, you, it's more fan interaction with the kart combos and stuff. And this doesn't have a layout, and it's just like... I'm just kind of playing it, you know, and basically, since I'm not going to be doing the special worlds, that means, um, I'm no longer going to be 100% completing this game, so I'm not going to be really stressing over if I miss a star medal that I just do not see along the way, or if I try to find, just simply cannot find. I'm not going to stress over it. Okay, let's see if I can actually get this with a regular jump. It's really weird. Even though I saw the view, I know where I have to jump. It just what the fuck. You know what? Let me let me use Tanuki. Uh, that jump, you need to be really precise. Even though it looks like I'm making it, it's really odd. Dun, dun, dun. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I guess I just need to make Tanuki. But um, yeah, like I was saying, not not hundred percent in it anymore. Ho hopefully, most of you guys don't mind, but I don't really think you do. You know. Okay. Let me see if this guy can give me a Tanuki. Damn it. Bow, 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 bow. Oh, another thing I want to mention to you guys as well. Um. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Wait, 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 wait. Just want to save myself right there. I'm not sure if there was a pit or not. Um, it is pretty much confirmed that I'm going to do an LP of Mario Kart 8. I, I was contemplating it not doing it at first or just doing, uh, Wi-Fi races because considering how overdone I thought the project or not the project I thought the game was gonna be because I mean uh, well I guess I missed the first star medal that's not that big of a deal I think I know where it is but I'm kind of too lazy to backtrack but um like I was saying I just I, I was feeling like Mario Kart 8 was just gonna be a ridiculously overdone overdone game it, it still kind of is but I mean I don't really care too much you know in all honesty, it's probably going to be more overdone than Pokemon X and Y, and that game was so overdone. You know, that was actually one of the reasons why I was just also contemplating on not even doing it, because when I was doing Pokemon X and Y, day one release, even though I was doing pretty well, you know, it had a decent thumbnail template, I had the 3DS capture card, I had sidebars, you know, it, it was a pretty, pretty good looking LP, but it got pretty, pretty, uh, crap support. Because of just how many people were doing it, you know, especially a lot of people in my friend group as well. So, that's why I, I actually never even finished that OP, basically because of that reason. And I deleted it off my channel actually a few days ago. Because I just saw no point of finishing it, you know. Okay, let's see if there's anything over here. Damn it. No, I don't want to, you know, oh, thank god, okay. I do not want that fire flower, good lord. I do not want that fire flower. Tanuki is really, really helpful here because of these fucking poisonous waters. I'm pretty sure it's, um, insta-kill. Okay, yeah, I knew that thing would make a coin trail. No, I missed one. Shit! Fair enough. Yes, I got an applause. I love getting a clap! Oh, no, maybe I should have gotten a, a fi gotten a fire flower. Wait, 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 is this the second one? Okay, that is the second one. I really, really hope lighting that torch doesn't reveal the third one, or yeah, because <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna miss, I'm gonna miss it. Oh wait, hold on. Doesn't I feel like getting? I feel like the third star medal has to do with that block right there, but I could be wrong. Am I? Shit. I literally thought I was going to be able to land on the thing, but nothing happened. Alright. I guess I'll just uh, cut back to where I was. Okay, there we go. I actually rode that yellow block over because I thought it might take me to the third star medal, but I guess not. Oh, that was the third one, and I skipped the second one. Fuck. It's not that big of a deal. I mean, 
Like I said, I'm not 100 percent anymore. I just, it's just nice to get them all, you know. Just, it just gives me a little bit more of a sense of accomplishment, if you will. Oh, they give us the balloons this time. Not even bad. How did? Is, uh, do the balloons appear at random? Not exactly sure how that works. Oh, uh, whatever. So now we're gonna get a bonus room so we can maybe get a new power up or a power up in our, in our inventory if we don't have one already. Yeah, we don't. Okay, maybe this will give us one. Okay, yeah, we got a fire flower. Okay, let me kill this piece of shit. There we go. Beautiful. Grab the coins. Uh... Yeah, we should get them all. That's really not that hard. You must you must have some pretty poor skills in this game if you can't get all the coins in that. It's not hard at all. Oh, I actually like this next level coming up. We got a pretty unique mechanic going on here. Well, I mean, it's not it's not really new per se. It's just kind of a mechanic that is was used in a previous Mario game, but different in this game, if you will. I'm not exactly sure how to explain it, but let me hit these P's right here and get the M's. I swear, dude, I feel- oh, here's the- here's the new mechanic. Uh, basically, you just have a propeller block and you hold the jump button to get boost. It's basically like having a propeller shroom, but a little bit different. Um... Hold on, time out. I'm pretty sure the first star medal, if you want to get it, is over on one of these corners, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's right here. But like I was saying, I feel like in a lot of 3D Mario games lately, they've been ha creating these areas or planets that have the 8-bit forms of Mario and Luigi. See, we got Luigi right here, and we're actually going to be able to see a peach later. And there's an 8-bit mushroom. All I swear, they, they ha I'm pretty sure they had 8-bit Mario in... 3D World, in this game, in Galaxy 1 and 2. So that, that, that's four games right there. Oh my god, no, the one-up! Oh, I was able to get it. Thank God for Tanuki Tail. Holy shit. Yeah, just a forewarning here. Just about every, um, star medal in this level requires Tanuki. So if you don't have Tanuki, then you can't get all the star medals. I'm pretty sure it's at least two out of three require it. Okay, thank god, I was gonna say. If that's not a helicopter block, I'm basically fucked. Oh yeah, the second one's right down there and you need a helicopter for it. And I'm almost positive that the third one is another one of those uh, tanuki wheel things. Okay, we're gonna actually have, have to uh, jump on this guy right here. Let's see if I can... Shit. Yeah, you're definitely gonna want to jump on him because jumping on him after you jump on him gives you an extra boost so you can save yourself. So you're definitely gonna want to do that. Thank God. It can be a little bit uh, weird to aim that jump because of how the camera is, but whatever. Let's just go up here and get our final star medal, which is right there. Okay, we need to... That's kind of funny. The first, the first star medal, we needed just the Tanuki. Then we needed... Um, just propeller, and that one we needed Tanuki and propeller. I like that. I don't know if that was uh, on purpose, but not bad. Uh, I love killing coin coffers. Give us some good. How much do they leave with that? Ten coins ish, something like that. Banana, banana, bow, 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 bow. Okay, now we're at the end of the level. I like this. I really like this. Now they're going back to ending the level in eight bit form, but it's three D at the same time. They had one of those eight bit blocks right there. But a cool little uh, secret, if you guys didn't know about this, you can actually go behind the flagpole and go into the castle, and we can get a free one up, which is really nice. I didn't know about that until maybe after I beat the game. Legit. Okay, let's try to get to the top of the flagpole, aim ourselves. Oh, really? Really? The 3D, the 3D fucked me up. Apparently I wasn't close enough. That's kind of irritating. <laughs> whatever, 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 whatever. It's just, it's just nice to get an extra one-up. Even though lives aren't really too much of a hassle in this, sometimes it's nice to get closer to Crown 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 lives. Maybe we'll get to, get to experience Crown 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 lives in this uh, playthrough, even though it's only going to be like eight parts. I don't know, maybe off screen I'll go back to World 1-2 and do it. Okay, now we got this mechanic back from uh, Galaxy 2. And it was in, used in 3D World as well. The 3D World was the most recent to use it. In Galaxy 2, you would spin, but in this, you just jump. This was absolute hell to deal with in 3D World. Espe especially not. I mean, it's not that bad in just 3D World itself, but if you're playing multiplayer and doing that level in, I believe, World 5 where they use this mechanic, 
in multiplayer, you're gonna want to kill yourself. It is so bad. It is not even funny. You literally have... It, it's so bad to time it because sometimes you forget you're doing multiplayer and you end up fucking over the person you're playing with and then end up falling to their death. It's ridiculous. Especially, it's already bad enough with two people. I remember I tried playing it with my brother. It was, it was so hard. You know, imagine playing it with four. If you if you know what level I'm talking about, if you own the 3D world, my god. Come on, Mario, get up there. Piece of shit. Really weird with the 3D, but that is Star Metal number two. Boom. I love ground pounding like that. It's so fun. This is giving me a good secret. One up. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to remember where that third star metal is. Oh, you know what? Yep, I remember. I see it right there. You can see it's shadow. You actually have to get on top of this fucking thing. Shit! How? I don't... No, I, I understand that I died because I fell off the platform. I don't get how that spiked arm, rotating arm, damaged me when I was above it. Whatever. Back to the third star metal we go. Okay, we're back. You know what I really don't understand? Is how they give us all three of the star medals. Come the fuck on. That's what, I'm, that's what I was going to say. I don't get why they give us all three of the star medals before the checkpoint. That's kind of crap. Okay. One more time. If this thing fucking kills me again, fuck it. You know? I'm not doing this 100% anyway. The, tch, my god. Thank god I finally got on top of it. Okay. There we go. I, I cannot believe that thing fucking killed me. I, was, I, I shouldn't have even bothered going after it even after the first death, you know, honestly. Bow, 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 bow. I, know, I, I know I keep saying I'm not 100%ing this, but it's just nice to get as much as you can just to, just to show it off. Just because, just you know. But whatever. At least we're done. I'm pretty sure we only have uh, one more level left until the airship. Or that might have even been our last. Yeah, this actually was our last. Okay. I'm gonna, uh, skip the mush house, because I, I really don't need it, even though it's a street pass. I already showed off the street pass and stuff. It's really not necessary. I already have a tanuki and a tanuki in my inventory, so whatever. But now we're gonna go to e an airship level, which we haven't seen yet. Um, way this game works is all even-leveled worlds, I believe, are airships, and all the odd, uh, worlds are Bowsers. I believe that's how it works. And you fight the uh, Boom Booms and Pom Pom on the airships. I think we're going to be fighting Boom Boom first, I'm pretty sure. He's really, really easy. It's not even funny. Okay, don't go into that just yet if you want to get the Star Metal, which is right over here, if I'm not mistaken. Really? Oh, no, there it is. There's, there's an extra platform. Okay. Okay, maybe I was wrong. Maybe... Okay. This actually might be the... Yeah, that was the second. I was wrong. I thought I thought we were supposed. I thought the um, exclamation point block was to the correct path, not the bonus path. I forgot. I haven't played this in a while. Come on, I'm gonna do the fucking side flip. It's so hard to pull off in, in this version. Okay, am I like. I was gonna say, am I like fucking trapped down there? I couldn't fucking jump. Oh, bum, ba -na -na -na. And here we go. Nice, free, non-obstacle arena. This fight is so fucking easy. Just boom, boom. You just have to jump on his head three times. All he does is, um... Spin at you, and then after you hit him, he does, like, what all the other Koopa bosses do. He rolls into a shell and shit like that. He's so, so easy. You can either spam the hell out of Fire Flowers, and maybe it takes, like, four hits, and the Fire Flowers can hit him while he's spinning. Or you can just jump on him after he spins, or before he spins, if you can time it right, or hit him with your Tanuki. And there we go. He didn't even get to attack, because he sucks. And he blew up into coins. Not even bad. And there we go. Very quick episode. I think we actually did this faster than World 1. Well, makes sense, because we had a little bit of uh, that opening cutscene in World 1. But, yeah. This just, this just goes to show how short these worlds are, you know? It's kind of a shame. I really wish they did what they did with 3D World with this game, where they had at least six world or six levels per world and a castle, you know? This time it's only like four or five, you know? And they're not, and they're not as original as 3D World. That's why I find 3D World a much more superior game. I mean, this was still good, but, you know, whatever. 
But let's move on. I think we're gonna get another letter. This happens every time we move mm -hmm. on from worlds. We're gonna get letters from Peach. Oh, she's on an airship. Look at all those enemies. Good lord. God, Bowser's almost like the size of that fucking thing. I don't know. It stays afloat. An airship that stays off afloat. We're all misfits. I hope you get that reference. That was from my Rudolph. <laughs> all right. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, though. We're going to stop now. Please be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed. Subscribe to be updated on future uploads. And next time on Let's Play Super Mario 3D Land, we're going to complete World 3. So I will see you guys next time. Peace out. Take care.